I'll take you on a tour of my day as a software engineer working on my AI side project. Today is Saturday and I woke up at around 6 am. I had a messed up schedule all of my life, but I need to change that if I want to reach my goals. First, I plan my day in the morning. Today is actually a special day, I'll tell you why a bit later. This morning I'm working on an AI project and building an Elon Musk AI bot. It was a video that you guys have voted. I want to keep my skills sharp and learn new things. Listen, in the tech world, if you're not on the AI train, you're probably tied to the tracks. Dramatic, I know, but AI will completely change your job as a software engineer, so you have to stay up to date with it. A new role is emerging in the market, the AI developer. The AI developer is basically a full-stack developer who uses AI to build incredible apps and functionalities. This will likely be the highest in-demand job of the decade. So if you don't want to fall behind, learn about AI as early as possible. Start building side projects, that's the best way to stay up to date. That's what I have been doing for a while, that's what I have been coaching my students to do and that's what I recommend to everyone. In the morning I code for a few hours, then go for a run. I like to work out Saturday mornings, it's like a physical transition between the work week and the weekend. And the view just makes the run incredible. I feel like the main character of an anime when I run here. I eat breakfast outside and back home splash some water on my face, shower and back to my computer. For the next few hours I'll be preparing demo day. What demo day are you asking? Well I've been mentoring a group of 10 beginners for a month to help them build and deploy an AI app from scratch and they'll present it today. It was part of my Codebender AI program. I'm actually opening up an improved version of that program soon, so if you want to learn to build badass AI apps with me and go from noob to AI developer, go to the link in the description to sign up. The first people to sign up will get some bonus gifts. You'll get direct access to me and a private community to help you stand out in the ear of AI. For demo day, I've summoned my friend Jason Goddison to be a jury along with me. He's a tech creator with a large following, a former Microsoft software engineer and currently YC founder. I made a dedicated video about how demo day went and showing all of the 10 AI apps that my students built. You can check it out if you're interested, I'll link it at the end of this video. The program was a huge success. All 10 students finished and deployed their project successfully. It's a 100% completion rate, which is crazy because all of this was happening while they had their finals and a bunch of other things. I had students from 8 different countries, including the US, Canada, Netherlands, Spain, Nigeria, Turkey, UAE and India. Most of them had very basic coding experience and weren't very confident in their coding abilities. So I'm really proud of them, what they achieved and I will explain how you can achieve that too. It's crazy to see what you can accomplish in one month when you put your mind to it and get the proper guidance. I will explain that in a moment but first it's lunch time so I go out to eat. There is this pizza place nearby, I bought some prime as well, honestly it's um, average, nothing special, it's just like sugar water, but the design of the bottle is cool, it's very catchy. In the afternoon I sometimes go out and work outside, enjoying the New York vibe, but not gonna lie, it happens rarely, even though the view is great, I don't know man, I just have troubles concentrating when I'm outside, there are too many distractions, people talking and moving. One thing that does work for me though is the library, it's easier there, I go there when I really need to focus, it's just a nice change of environments. Here I continue to work on the Elon Musk AI Twitter bot that I started in the morning. I use a very simple system to build it, it's the blueprint I used to get 10 beginners with basic coding experience to build their first AI app. There are 5 steps that you need to follow if you want to build an AI app. First you pick an idea, something that you're excited about. Second you build a basic app that doesn't have any AI functionality, just a React app for example. Third, you add that AI functionality, you make an API call to OpenAI for example. Fourth, you improve the AI functionality of your app using prompt engineering. And then fifth, the last step is you deploy your app, you build your portfolio. This is the process I started with my students, they didn't have any experience with AI before and during the span of a month going through each of those steps, they're able to build 10 very cool AI apps. If you want to get more details about each of those steps, I've created a full guide that will take you from beginner to a level where you can build pretty much any app that you want using different AI functionalities. You can download it in my newsletter, link is below. 
Guys, it's crucial that you get started on this. AI is completely changing the scene, and those who learn it early will get an unfair advantage compared to everyone else. As a young code bender, you should look into that. To pick a good AI app idea, I like to look at my interest and at the technology that is currently trending. So for example, if you like Elon Musk and see that Twitter is trending as a platform, you can build an Elon Musk AI Twitter bot. It's an idea that will be fun to build and a lot of people will be interested in it if they share a similar interest as you. Once you have selected your idea, you have to set up the base layout of the app. That's what I'm doing right now. I started with a basic app for a bot that doesn't have any AI functionality yet. So just think about a regular web app. After your basic app is set up, you can add a call to the OpenAI API. They're the creators of ChatGPT. This is what adds AI functionality to your app. After that, bro, honestly, the bulk of the work is done, actually. This is what's crazy with AI, it does so much for you. It didn't take me long to start building AI apps. Once you have good fundamentals in place, the main thing you need to learn is how to communicate with their API and then some prompt engineering. You'll just need to tweak the prompt to get better results and then deploy the bot online. I'm working on that bot right now, you will see it live in a future video. 7 p.m., I finished my work for the day. It's a bit late for a Saturday, I know. At that moment, either I chill for the evening or go work out. We have a gym in our building, so it's very convenient and I feel kind of weird physically if I don't work out after so many hours with the computer. You know, man, I didn't notice it before, but then I started to see it. Between days when I would work out and days when I wouldn't, I just noticed a massive difference. I don't know, like I feel a lot more refreshed and at peace internally after a workout. I come back home, it's around 8 p.m., I shower, eat dinner and then relax. Now I have one last message for you, young Codebender. Codebenders, if you like this video, check out this one. It's the video about the 10 beginners who helped build a badass AI app from scratch. I show you the apps they made and how we did it. I put my soul in this video. Go watch it, you'll love it.